Come on, honey. We've had enough. Come on. Uh, uh... See you, Ellen. Honey. Oh, darling, could I have a Bloody Mary? Would you like a soda water, lemonade, or something like that? Or No. Yes, sir. Well, how about some food? Shall I get some food? No. I see, Ellen, I came down here all the way from the office just to have lunch with you. You might be a touch more pleasant. You are absolutely amazing. You act as if nothing had happened. Well, nothing new has happened today. I see. Just because we haven't had our daily disaster doesn't mean that I've forgotten about Holly Harwood or the man that was uh, trying to kill me, thinking it was you. I didn't mean uh, to get you upset. I'm sorry. I... Well, of course you are. But what, what about all that guilt that I was carrying around? Oh, I'm sorry. You probably don't even know the meaning of the word. Well, now, Sue Ellen, that's not fair. Of course I know the meaning of the word guilt. I felt guilty many times. The only time you feel guilty is when you're caught. No. I'm talking about how I felt. When I thought it was my fault, Mickey was in the hospital paralyzed. Sue Ellen, that was no one's fault. It was the act of a deranged man. Now, I guarantee you, Bobby and Ray were as responsible for Driscoll's behavior as I was. Look, I really don't want to talk about it anymore. There must be other uh, topics of conversation. All right, all right. Uh, Bobby called a little while ago. He wanted us to come out to South Fork and help the decorator pick out the wallpaper for the, for the bedroom, and I, I said you'd come along. You're partly right. I'll go to South Fork by myself. I uh, really don't want you there with me. Okay, all right, fine. You pick out anything you want. It'll be fine with me. Maybe not. Oh, I will pick out uh, the wallpaper. But I'll also pick out a new bedroom. A new bedroom? What's wrong with the old one? You're in it. What? Huh? I want a different one. One that's apart from you. Separate bedroom? Well, what the hell kind of a marriage is that? The kind we're gonna have from now on. You see, J.R., I have decided that I'm moving back to South Fork. John Ross will be raised there. And I technically will be Mrs. J.R. Ewing. But we won't live together as husband and wife. We'll have separate bedrooms and, um, Separate lives. Can I bring you anything else, Mrs. Ewing? No, thank you. Good night. Good night. Come young man. It's time for you to get ready for bed. Come on. Evening, sir. Evening. John Ross fixing to go to bed? Yes. Well, could I at least say goodnight to him? Night, son. See you in the morning. Good night, Daddy. Go into your room, honey. I'll be in in a minute. Okay? He's awful quiet, Sue. Is he feeling okay? Physically, he's fine, but I am worried about him. I'm afraid that with the fire and everything else, that he might be left with some emotional problems. Living here in the hotel doesn't help anything. Well, I couldn't agree more. That's why it's going to be so good to get back on South Fork all together again. J.R. being back at South Fork means that uh, we'll be under the same roof. Not the same bedroom or the same bed. Now, uh, it's time for you to leave. Leave? Honey, I live here. Not anymore. I got another room for you and I had all your things moved. You can uh, spend the night there if you want to. You can't do this to me. Oh, really? Here's your key. <laughs> 